The murder of Matthew Shepard in 1998 shocked the world and resulted in new legislation against hate crime. The Laramie Project, ten years later, revisits that time and asks, what have we learned? With us now are director Kate McGill and actor Martin Wood. Greetings. Good morning. Hello. For coming in. Can you just put us in the picture for people that aren't familiar with what happened to Matthew Shepard? Um, well, in 1998, Matthew Shepard, who was a 21-year-old uh, university student in Wyoming, uh, went out to a bar and essentially was taken by two guys uh. to be robbed um, and he was beaten and left to die on a fence post on the outskirts of Laramie and it's about a hate crime essentially because they killed him because he was gay. And they admitted this? Mm. They did, yes. How did this change legislation? What happened here? Um, it kind of mobilised a whole um, movement just around hate crimes and the way in which the media perceives perceives them. Um, I think I don't know what <laughs> happened. What it did was well, it really brought up the question of what is a hate crime, mm. and you know, because it's kind of a foggy ground, because it, it sort of essentially means that it's premeditated because they killed mm. him because he was gay. Because you know, one of them said, "Oh, he was hitting on me. He touched my leg," and you know, that's why it smacked him over the head with a gun. Um, Another one of them said, oh, the other guy doesn't like gay people and that's why we did it. But they really um, had problems trying to decide whether it was premeditated because of that or not. Because in Wyoming at the time, um, well, still now even, I mean, it, being gay it was not really okay to be mm -hmm. out. They, they still don't have any gay bars in Wyoming. For instance. Wow. Yeah. So the original Laramie project was mm -hmm. created when? How long after? Well, it was created within, like, directly after the event. Mm -hmm. So, excuse <clears throat> me. Matthew um, was killed in 1998. So the Tectonic Theatre Project, which went. is a New York-based company, yeah. went into the town and interviewed sort of between 200 and 300 members of the community. Yeah. So, people that were associated with the crime, people that were working at the university, basically people in the community yeah. that just wanted their voice to be heard. Like, we're trying to make sense of this event. They spoke to, you know, either anonymously or they gave their names and gave permission to use, they all gave permission to use their words. So the play is 100% verbatim. Um, and, yeah, so, so it was... 100% verbatim, so on those transcripts, yeah. mm -hmm. word for word. So how does word it actually word. work in, the, in terms of the play, then? In terms of the play, it's split up into <coughs> moments mm -hmm. and it's the same with the Laramie Project ten years later as well. So what they've do, done is compiled these, transcribed these interviews and compiled them into sections ah. and tried to keep them in context as much as possible. Mm. I mean, I guess that's where the theatricality of yeah. it comes in, because you have one, you know, one person's voice stacked up against another, you know, someone who's um, pro gay rights, rights is... and someone who's going, well, you know, I, I just, I just don't want them to come around yeah. here and mm. talk to me. I don't have any problem, with them, you know. So you sort of form an understanding of what this mm. community is and how it's sort of dealing with it. You're choosing it, to move yeah. forward. Yeah, and it affects the structure of the play because some of it is actors talking directly to the audience mm. and then other parts are structured like interviews. Into, yeah, like so a scene. So it's very immediate, I think, that mm. you're not just watching a scene play out, you're actually engaging with it because it's inviting the audience right into yeah. the, the heart of the action. How different is the Laramie Project ten years later? which is the one that you guys are involved with, to the original. The it's structure's quite, the same. Yeah, the structure's the same, but it's, it's same quite different. Play. Yeah. Because at the time, when the play was, when the Laramie Project was first produced, it was, like, the crime was very immediate. Yeah. So people, like, all around the country and all around the world, and this, like, this is the most performed verbatim play in the world, um, we're still trying to, you know, come to terms with how a community can be like that because mm. Laramie seems like it could be anywhere, like it could be Masterton, it could be, you know, it could be anywhere. Yeah, yeah. Um, so this play deals with how we, sort of how society forms a moral compass through, mm. you know, making sense of an event, like the, the mm. course of history. I think mm. the, the biggest difference is that, um, like Kate said, the crime had just happened, so mm. the first play, it's, it's quite hot, there's um, emotions are running high, people are reacting in a really immediate way. Ten years later, um, they've had the opportunity to reflect on what happened and really process it and come to a, maybe like we said before, a different conclusion. Mm -hmm. um, so I think that's why it grew from just an original 20 minute piece that they wanted to put at the end of the original play into a full blown play. Because yeah. they realised there's just this wealth of material and this wealth of stuff emerging yeah. in the town. Mm -hmm. Do you think New Zealanders needed to be reminded about hate crimes? I think... Yeah, I mean, it's something that we kind of go, we pride ourselves on being quite an liberal. accepting, liberal um, 
the country. But, I mean, they happen here. I mean, a couple of years ago there was that attack up north um, that lesbian couple had their That's right. house and business yeah, attacked. Yeah. Um, there was another, um, a young guy, I can't remember exactly Wellington. how long ago, but in Wellington, that yeah, was he was attacked. That was the year attacked. after. Matthew yeah, it was like 99 death. or 2000. Yeah. Was attacked and killed in Cuba Street, so the heart of Wellington City, which, you know, Wellington, you assume Because they even thought more. he was gay and he wasn't even out. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. He was gay, but he wasn't out. Mm. So I think it's something that remains relevant wherever you are. And it's, there's a great line in the play, it's, it's great to be reminded just how ugly hate is. Mm. And it's, it's not... Yeah, yeah. And I think at the moment, you know, the gay marriage bill has just been pulled up. So for us, it becomes, again, a really hot issue. Mm. And part of the play kind of deals with that. And yeah. how, how does being gay fit into the larger context of being part of society? Wow. Mm. Not just entertainment, but it's, it's certainly you, you go there to think. Yeah. In terms of yeah. an audience, you, you come away with... There is it's, some comedy, though. There is definitely <laughs> comedy. Really nice comedy. Because whenever like you relief. interview real people, you know, you're yeah. going to get some characters, and there are some definite, you know... Characters. Oh, sounds very cool. All the very best with it. I hope it goes really well. Thanks Thank so much. You. Great stuff. Thank you. Nice to see you. The Lowry Project 10 years later starts tomorrow. For more information, including where to get your tickets from, please head to our website. Don't go away. Sports up next. Was there a rugby game on the weekend? I, I think, think there, there might have been. been. <laughs>